hello in this demo we are going to see static variables now I have a class with me called as housing loan in this class I have the account number of the person who has taken the housing loan and the name and loan amount and the rate of interest that we are applying on the loan amount now if we observe if there are n number of customers who has taken housing loan all of them may have different account numbers different names and different loan amounts whereas rate of interest would be same for each and every customer so if I create 10 objects or 10 customers then I need to allocate 10 memory locations for rate of interest and all the 10 locations will have the same value so which results in wastage of memory and another drawback is that any user wants to update or if I need to update rate of interest I need to update it in all the objects so what I will do I'll allocate memory for rate of interest only once and I'll allow all the objects to access that so I'll just make it as a static and I will also make it as public so that I can access it from outside the class to set the value for rate of interest now these three things I need to initialize whenever I need to create the object so for that I will be using my constructor public housing loan and I have these three variables like we have seen in our earlier videos a constructor is nothing but it is used to initialize the object and it is a special method with same name as class name and it is invoked automatically whenever we create the object so I'm initializing it this dot account number equals to account number this dot name equals name this dot loan amount equals to loan amount so this is my constructor using which I'll be initializing it and I'll have a method void display method which is going to display me all the details about the customer say console dot write line account number name loan amount and rate of interest now the zeroth location I need to display account number then name then loan amount and finally rate of interest fine now I'll create object that is housing loan h equals to new housing loan I need to pass three parameters account number name is Peter the loan amount is say 56,000 and I'll say h dot display I'll create one more customer say H1 1 to 4 and Jack say the loan amount is 78,000 and I'll say H1 dot display console dot read line if I execute it is going to display the rate of interest as zero why because I haven't initialized the rate of interest I haven't set the value for rate of interest see that rate of interest is zero now if I put a breakpoint and if I observe both the objects they will have a field in common that is rate of interest it says that there are three fields separately account number 
loan amount name and a static member that is rate of interest account number loan amount name and st static member is nothing but rate of interest now before i proceed for creating objects and all these things i need to initialize static variable i need to set the value so how do i access the static variables normally if i want to access any member any field of a class i need to access it with the help of object as i am accessing this object dot display whereas static members could be accessed directly with the help of class name i need not to create object to access static members i can access static members directly with the class name housing loan dot rate of interest equals to 12.8 see the rate of interest is 12.8 see that now both the objects has the same value now if i want to update rate of interest i'll write simply single line of code to update rate of interest it is going to reflect in all the objects automatically now i'll display both the things h1 dot display and h2 dot uh, h dot display after changing rate of interest oh i haven't changed the rate of interest let me update the rate of interest i'll update the rate of interest from 12.8 to 13.8 now it should reflect that the rate of interest got updated for all the objects now static members it has two features one is a physical another is functional physical feature it looks like this a static variable is declared with the keyword static and a class can access the static variable directly with the class name objects cannot access the static variable i cannot access the static variable with uh, object dot something i cannot go with in that sense i need to access static variable with the class name and the functional feature is that all the objects would be sharing the same memory location for static variables in this i am going to add one more line of code that is repay amount repay amount the amount i need to pay back to the bank is nothing but my actual amount plus rate of interest on my amount so that would be something like this my loan amount plus i'll say loan amount into rate of interest is nothing but it is percent so i need to divide it by 100 now if i have taken a loan amount of 56000 and the rate of interest is 12.8 so i need to repay them 63168 if rate of interest gets updated to 13.8 then i need to repay them 88764 so this is how your static variable works now as per the standards and the rules i need to declare the variable as private i need not to make it public if i make it private you see that it throws an error over here it says that i cannot access the private members outside the class inaccessible due to protection level check even rate of interest is not visible what is that i can do i can write a separate constructor where i can initialize static members so i'll write a constructor using which i can initialize a static variable so that is nothing but your static constructor static housing loan and in this i'm going to initialize static variable that is rate of interest equals to as uh, a 12.8 can i initialize non static variable like can i access account number no account number is inaccessible in static constructor 
now let me execute this it has got 12.8 now if you observe there are few things that you need to note about a static constructor static constructor will not have any return type as normal constructor on over that it will not have even the access specifier a static constructor cannot be public or private or protected or you know it cannot have any kind of access specifier it should be declared with static keyword and static constructor is a parameter less constructor you cannot have parameters for static constructor when i cannot have parameters to static constructor so definitely i cannot overload static constructor that means i cannot have more than one static constructor in the class it is a very important interview question they may ask what is a static constructor and can i overload static constructor or can i have n number of static constructors in the class answer is no i cannot have n number of static constructor i can have one and only one static constructor and i can initialize only static variables in the static constructor so this is all about your static variable and static constructor thank you